Allah cannot be seen Yawm al Qiyamah, nor in this world. But this world, as we talk about Allah, and we believe Allah cannot be seen, how can we answer this question to those who said, how could you believe in a God that you cannot see? And by the way, you know, this question also was asked to our Imam Amir al Mu'mineen, Salamullah alayhi. When they ask him, Ya Amir al Mu'mineen, Hal ra'ayta rabbak? Have you seen your Lord who you worship? You know what Imam Ali said? He said, Bali, of course. Kayfa a'budu rabban la ara. How would I worship a God I cannot see? Impossible. Yes, I've seen him. Then they ask Imam Ali, Kayfa ra'ayta? How did he see him? He says, Ma ra'atuhul uyun bibasairiha. ولكن رأته القلوب ببصائرها. See, Allah is not seen with these eyes, but He was seen with the eyes of the heart. You know, the studies of Imam Ali alayhi salam, Imam Zain al Abidin alayhi salam, he also comes to elaborate on this hadith that every human being that Allah created. Allah gave us four eyes. Every human being, we have four eyes. Two eyes to see this material world. There's two eyes. It's not to see the spiritual world. No, you can't see with it. But then there are two other eyes that Quran also confirms that these eyes is the eyes of the heart. But they can see what these eyes cannot see. And sometimes certain action we do, it makes the eyes to become it, to be, it makes the heart, eyes of the heart to become blind. You know in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Innaha la ta'mal absar walakin ta'mal qulub allati. Some action doesn't make these eyes to be blind, but it makes the eyes of the heart to become blind. Imam Ali alayhi salam, he said, I've seen my Lord, but I haven't seen him with these eyes, but I've seen him with the eyes of the heart. So Allah could be seen with the eyes. Now the question is, as we Muslim, we believe Allah is there. And these people ask this question. How do we answer this question? Number one, you have to understand this question itself is not a proper question. How so? Because number one, things in this world are into different stages. Stage number one, there are things in this world you and I cannot see, but we believe they exist. And you ask any scientist, they cannot prove to you how it exists, but they tell you it exists anyway. One example, you take anything, you throw it in the sky. What happened? It comes down. You ask the scientist, why does it come down? They tell you there is something called gravity. You ask the scientist, which color is that gravity? So I don't know. How big it is? See, I don't know. What is the size of it? See, I don't know. Can you see it? No, I can't. But how do you believe there is something called gravity, right? But you don't believe that there is no God. Are you telling me that no gravity is there? See, it comes down. Yes, but can you show me? No. What color is it? No, I can't explain, but I know it's there. The scientists believe there's a gravity, right? But he can't prove to you, but he believes that it exists. That's one. Number two, you ask the scientists, there are certain things, these are things, I cannot feel it, I can't see it, but I believe it's there. 
then there are certain things in this world you can feel it, but you can't see it. But you believe it's there. What are they? You know, you go outside, you said it's too cold. Okay? Can you tell me what's the color of the cold? No. But I can feel it. I'm shivering, right? The temperature is down, so I can feel it. Yes, but can you show me what is the color of that cold? No, I can't. How big is that? So I can't tell you, but I know that it's cold. I can feel it. You tell me I'm hot. I'm sweating. Yes. What is the color of that sweat? I don't know. How does it look? I don't know, but it's there. I can feel it. The air is so cool. It's so beautiful. Yes, I can feel it, but I can't see it, and we all believe it exists. So not everything that you can't see does not exist. There are certain things you see the sign of it, and you know they exist. One of them is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I don't need to see Allah to believe he exists. The same thing when you see an artist, he draws something beautiful. You don't need to see the artist to know he is a great artist because the art itself tells everything about that artist. When you see this beautiful creation, there is no need to ask that creator is great because that creation itself tells everything about that creator. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's number one. So when we talk about seeing is believing, that's not true. Because everything we live in this world, there are so many things we don't see, but we believe they exist. So seeing is not all the time the right 